a successful qualifying session will probably be top three, top four, then I will definitely be smiling. Uh, if it's top top ten, it's it's not great, but it's okay. And outside top ten, it's it's very bad. Um, and how I approach it, it's it's really depending on the day. Some days I'm really fired up and motivated, so I need to be a bit careful uh, with overdriving and making mistakes. Um, if I feel that way, I will try to calm myself down with meditation and, and trying to think calmly. Uh, on the other hand, sometimes if I feel a bit more relaxed and, and too relaxed, sometimes I'm, I'm too slow to get up to speed and I want to push a bit more um, and try to increase a little bit my intensity, my, you know, my body and mind. Um, so it's really a fine balance because no qualifying and no day uh, qualifying day is, is ever the same so it's really important for me to be um to understand uh, myself so i can improve or i can you know change myself into the right state of mind before quality do you remember your first pole position in austria what did that moment mean to you and what goes through your head when you hear the news Yeah, this year uh, in 2022 in, in Spielberg, when I got that pole position, it was just such an incredible day because um, the the race weekend before was Silverstone and I was P2 in qualifying. And then in, I arrived to, to, and I finally got my first pole position. And uh, yeah, I remember it just meant everything for me. And to be honest with you, I think it's the highlight of the year. Uh, getting that pole position meant so much for me. Because it, it, it really means that you're the fastest driver that day. 